Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday and welcome back to my channel. It is beautiful here for the record in Seattle. It is sunny. So when it's sunny, it's beautiful in Seattle. <laughs> So today I'm finally giving you my first impression on this Makeup Revolution concealer that they say rivals the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm going to do one on one eye and the other on the other eye to see if it actually does. Now, I bought this from Ulta and it took the nine days that Ulta normally takes with their standard shipping to get here. <laughs> so I'm on their website. And it says that Makeup Revolution's Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour is designed for long-lasting coverage. Conceal and define your look with this ultra-blendable formulation. Okay, so both of them are full coverage. You guys know that this is a cult favorite. It came out in 2016, and I just learned about it last year. But I love this shape tape because I don't have to use a corrector. And... It just covers my dark circles, all of them. <laughs> so let's see if this does that as well. Let's look at the bottle. The bottle is really pretty. It actually is this iridescent, pinkish, purplish type of look. It has, it is a London company and it is 0.11 fluid ounces. The Tarte Shape Tape is 0.338. So I was surprised because it's kind of like going on the internet as if this is so much cheaper than this, when in fact, they're about the same cost because this is a third of what you get in the shape tape. So $7 times three and some change, you're looking at 20 something dollars for the same amount that's in the shape tape. So yeah it's 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 really not seven dollars it's 20 something dollars if you want the same amount that you get in the shape tape which is fine and whichever one you like better then you go with that one but it's it's kind of it's kind of deceiving kind of you you think that oh this is the exact same amount and it's seven dollars no it's a third of the amount but that's okay let's check out the doe foots all right, we know that the Shape Tape Doe Foot is normally the biggest around. Okay, and the Makeup Revolution has a big Doe Foot. It is big, and you get a lot on there. See that? And it's a, it's a big enough Doe Foot. I like it. Now, I use in... The shape tape, I use tan sand. So I got C12, which looked like my color, in the Makeup Revolution. So right now I have my foundation on. I obviously have my eyebrows on. <laughs> let's test these babies out and see which one does best. And let's put the shape tape on this eye. And we all know that I love this, so... I'm not even gonna get into how smooth it goes on. The Makeup Revolution. Oh yeah, I did get the right color. That's good. Oh, this goes on really smooth. Oh, this is bendable a bit. So it, it, it doesn't, it's not harsh on your under eye. It glides with your skin. Oh, I really like that. Feeling about the same, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you, except this this feels a little smoother. Okay, guys, I had to leave to fix my mess. <laughs> so far, they look the same. I think with my exorbitant amount of powder that I put on, <laughs> yeah, they look the same. I would probably put a little... I would probably even put a little bit more on because I like to really cover them. So let me go. I'm going to put the rest of my makeup on and I'll come back. All right, guys, I'm back. So I did put a little bit more concealer of both on each one. So more of the Tarte Shape Tape and more of the Makeup Revolution. This is the thing. So my thoughts on these two is 
the makeup revolution is a little bit more creamier and slides around a little bit more when you are able to apply it, which I like. Um, the shape tape is more of a, I'll call it a little thicker. Yeah. And it was very evident when I decided to apply another application over the powder. The Makeup Revolution just slid on and went right back into the skin. Whereas the Tarte Shape Tape, I had to, I saw it kind of sit there, which is good. It's supposed to do that. It's supposed to bind to your skin, but it wasn't as creamy. It didn't flow over powder as well. Um, but I was able to maneuver it into the skin. It wasn't bad. But this is what I would say. Both are nice. Both basically cost the same. Maybe the shape tape costs concerning fluid ounces costs maybe $5 more or something like that. But they're both nice concealers. I don't have anything against them based on my first impression. The Makeup Revolution is a nice concealer and I like it. And if you are more more like to buy your concealer in smaller units and just pay seven dollars or buy a bigger one and pay the 20 something dollars you know it's about the same both of these there really isn't any markdown you're not actually getting tart shape tape for seven dollars you're getting a third of tart shape tape if you want to call it for seven dollars um, so yeah, I still like my shape tape and I'll use this. I'm not throwing this away. Definitely. I'll use this. And it's a, the truth is that if this was at the drugstore, then I would probably say, oh yeah, I can just go pick this up when I don't want to order this from Ulta or drive to Ulta to get it. I can just go to my drugstore. No, I had to order this from Ulta too. I had to order it online. So for me, normally I would go for the bigger one and not the smaller one, just because it comes out to the same thing, <laughs> just about the same thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I like both of them. I think my under eyes look fine. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this first impression slash review. And if anything changes with the makeup revolution throughout the day, because we're going out today, I'll let you know and put it you know how i do it i put an update in the description if everything is the same or if something changed i will put oh my gosh this is bad <laughs> so yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i will see you in my next video bye